So here we've got Chlorophyllum molybdites, common name greensboard parasol. Uh, some younger ones and a more mature one. Um, <clears throat> here's a younger one cut open. You can see the gills are quite pale and a slight bit of uh, discoloration on cutting, a little bit of pinky orange colour and the gills end up going in olive green as the spores mature um, that only happens later in the mushrooms development and the gills are not attached to the stem and let's pop this out Just having a look at the ring, it's got a very similar ring to Chlorophyllum bronium, where it's got a it's a fixed ring and it's it's attached above uh, yeah, so it's not a movable ring and here's a young one. You can see the the ring in the early development. And just have a look at a fresh one. So here you can see the, the gills are white. Um, it's a double ridged ring, uh, one on the inner, one on the outer, and then I fold it down, you can see the, the attachment, um, there quite clearly, and just pull him apart. Got a hollow stem. You can see a little bit of discoloration going on as a pull it apart. Uh, these are commonly confused with several different edible mushrooms. Um, it's one of the mushrooms that's accounts for most of the poisonings in the warmer areas of the world. Um, in Australia they're found between the tropics and uh, down to Sydney. Um, the toxins um, create severe gastrointestinal upsets and this uh, some talk of them being destroyed by heat and that some people have eaten them. Um, I wouldn't recommend eating them, uh, but definitely getting to know them. and um, They can be mistaken for shaggy mane, Crinus comatus, and uh, Chlorophyllum brunium, the shaggy parasol. Um, and sometimes they're mistaken for agaricus. Um, green spore print? Yeah, and they've got a olive green spore print. Alright.